And we're back, you guys. Let us continue to episode episode two. Start for help. It's basically about being hungry. <laughs> now we get a tra like a trailer of the previous episode. When we once we go in, it's really cool. They did it like like you're watching the show, and it's really awesome. On the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got What's another you? good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you you watch your ass What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. There was a better answer for that, that he's looking out for Lily, but... You'll see later on why answering bad would be bad. <laughs> but not too bad, you know. 
Don't. Genshat will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Now we gotta make some quick decisions too. Though the outcome again is not really that different, but yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Come on, do something! Stop, stop, please stop. hurry! Do something! Please! Get me out of this! Oh god! How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know! Oh, god. Try to get the chain! It's impossible! It locks or something! Hurry! Hurry! Uh, this is bad. This is so let's bad. Let's go! Let's go! No, no, no! Stop! <sighs> fuck! You have to get him out! You have to! Lee, it has to be now! Oh god! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Please. Damn it, Lee! Just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time to... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but we have to go! Now! Uh, Lee! I can't keep him back forever! Uh, uh, oh god! I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Ah! Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! I don't remember what happens when you choose not to help the guy, but... I think the other student follows you, and the... T the, the the adult dies and something else happens, but I don't remember very well, so... Sorry! <laughs> If you know what happens, uh, write it on the comments below so that people may know. They've been there three months and they haven't barricaded that place very well. It's kind of cheap. It's kind of embarrassing, really. 
I would have built the wall at that point. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh my on! God. Lily inherited what her father's oh anger. Oh God. God. Hey, I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? He's the only one who can you calm his wrath. For me. <laughs> Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have four choices of people here, so some people are going to get angry and some people are going to be okay with your choices. There's really no perfect choice here. It's more like a, I guess, a use of common sense. Like, for instance, I'm going to I'm gonna choose first uh, the children, because, you know, they're children. You can't have children starving. And the two adults that you gotta choose are basically your it's it's kinda like a free choice really, but you can choose pretty much anyone you want. So let's talk to her first. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alright. So we got... You got the children over here. On oh, the ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. 
All right. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's talk to her again and give her some food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! So, Larry and this other guy are walking, working on the fence. I'm gonna give him... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't we have two choices I here. Week already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing. Since I already gave him food, I'm gonna give Larry the axe as a show of trust, I guess. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. That guy kissed and tell. That's why if you say that he's a racist, he gets really, really upset. But he gets upset either way, no, ma no matter what you choose to say. But, yeah. Now you can choose to keep this on your own, but I'm not. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Uh, up to this point, really doesn't matter who you give it to, so let me give it to her, I guess. She's angry with me. <laughs> I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kitty. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, 
gotta make a lot of quick choices here. That's my first game over. Now, game overs in this game aren't that bad because you're taking exactly to the same scene again. Here we go again. There's an important insight as to... You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring transformation. him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Now, if you haven't seen this show, this is gonna be a major spoiler Why didn't you tell us he was about the walkers what? and stuff, he was so... Bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I'm also not so exactly sure there. what happens see if that? you de deny going, so... Uh, if you reject going, so... Also, tell in the comments below. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.